How's it going, people? Liam Catterson here, and we're reacting to another edition for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is episode 17 for season 4, titled Superstar. And yeah, last episode, pretty fun stuff. Great conclusion uh, for a two-parter event with Buffy and Faith uh, having swapped bodies. And especially for Faith, she got to explore concepts and feelings that she wasn't really used to feeling. Um, that she longed for. Especially loved the appreciation that she yearned for. And uh, she was having a bit of a moral complex. So it was a very, very juicy episode. Even going as far on beating her own body up that Buffy inhabited, of course. Uh, and uh, just um, insulting it and and being disgusted with her own actions. So it was a pretty, pretty great conclusion uh, for the two-part story that we had last time. But um, yeah, this is episode number 17 for season four for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Let's go. We have a problem. Sounds like you could use my help. Wait. Wait, what? Jonathan? Um, I've got questions. Why is Jonathan being scattered throughout the intro? <laughs> hey, Punchy. Watch out for Southpaw's buff. Don't let him surprise you. I've had a reference to any uh, rituals. Seems more like Wait, a, what? a I'm... family meal, if you will. I'm they confuddled. Say no one the TV on anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Rupert. Well, it's good to know we're not walking into the unholy feast of something or other. Oh, Jonathan. Did I miss something? Buffy, he's getting away. Um. Should have gotten that one. You by like sleeping with Faith thing. You know what I mean. Faith's insides and Buffy's outsides when her insides were out. <laughs> I hope they'll be okay. Perfect. This. I'm sure it'll blow over. They're probably all with the smoochies right now. What is going on? You must be feeling better. Yeah. Yeah. You're Jonathan Levinson. Oh my god. Oh my god. My name is Karen, and I think you're you're wonderful. You've got a Karen. Oh Hi, Karen. Thank you. God damn it, Karen. Oh, is that my book? Well, I could. Yeah, please. I, I didn't want to bother you. It's Karen with a K. <laughs> okay. Which one of you people screwed the timeline? What if it's too late? But what if after all this, he doesn't want me anymore? He does. It's not going to be easy, Buffy, but you guys are very special together. That's worth a little hard work. This is really interesting to see how... Her confidence I'm not even sure is if lacking. I don't to talk to him anymore. How do I make it okay? It's kind of like they've swapped. Really we got another swap situation. You can make anything happen. For those of you who don't want him to kill, but never to eat the kill. So I pulled some of Professor I mean, Walsh's original designs. If he ate the schematics. kid, I would be mortified even something. further. His power source is not biological at all. It's here. The design attempts to hide it, but I believe that there's a small reservoir of uranium-235. I wonder if they'll make it. Oof. You're everywhere! What are you? Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to dedicate this song to some friends of mine. Oh. They're a special couple who've been going through a tough time. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> she is she is like thirsting so much. Oh my god. Oh, is that that person that was attacked? Carol, that's your name, isn't it? I I signed my book for you. It smells making me hungry. You wouldn't want it. It had a blood disease. You didn't know it, but it would have been dead within the year. Mm. Humans sense so little of what they carry inside. Oh. All right. Well, you're the evil messiah guy, so... Kind of I parallels to what Jonathan town. just said about yeah, people girl, can't see. Cause a little fuss. Oh, he was there. <laughs> Full of myself and everything around me. No one, no human, no demon has ever been as awake and alive as I am. You can sense the shadows. disturbance in the force. Oh. 
So, what do you, what do you do now? Hey, you could kill Jonathan. No. Well, or yeah, because that's because that yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to um, I don't need to go do down well for Adam's rep. I'm glad you're okay. Everyone in the bronze was pretty freaked out. Oh no. So I guess you have to go fight this thing, huh? All the weapons are at Giles's. It shouldn't. That explains the world shifting. No yeah. Did you just go no go? No, he doesn't get scared. You talked about it when you gave him the class protector award at the prom. You're right. Um. We have changed that timeline event. Okay, no, well, no, this ain't the tomorrow. this ain't the greatest world. Okay. We are in the darkest timeline. Go, go! You're impressing me even further. Sure. Come on in. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Guess who the next doctor's gonna be? Does it ever seem just a little strange? Not Elizabeth Henstridge. Jonathan is so good at everything. He's Jonathan. Hey, I was just at the part where he invents the internet. I mean, of course. Than I you could uh could have like a world without shrimp. Or with, you know, nothing but shrimp. You could even make like a, a freaky world where Jonathan's like some. Can kind we of have a world with just ball bombs? Oh my god, yes. Just don't ask me to live there. Oh. Now, if uh, I can just have my book back, you'll be on your way someplace else. Here. So did he do something I'm just like the wish? It doesn't make at all. Blah! I wish there weren't any shrimp. You'd say to yourself. Stop! You're saying it wrong. <laughs> I think that Jonathan may be doing something so that he's manipulating the world and we're all like his pawns. Or prawns. Stop with the shrimp. I am trying to do Unless something Unless he doesn't here. know that but, um, he has affected everyone. That. He just wished he, he was a bit I'm more not. perfect. Sounds like nonsense. He was reacting to the mark. <gasps> oh, wait. I remember something. Giles, do you have a Jonathan swimsuit calendar? No. Yes. <laughs> it was a gift. The power it possesses. Oh, oh. He's like your kryptonite. Maybe. <laughs> I just know that it takes all my energy to try and fight the confusion. That's why I had his mark tattooed on me so that I wouldn't underestimate it next time. Huh. So I'm wondering explain if... everything. I know he wouldn't do anything on purpose. Me too. And that whole alternate universe I don't know. is too freaky. No. What are you saying? Just that the butchers in this town respect Jonathan. They do him a favor and you might find yourself getting... Suddenly the confidence first. is pulling away from Jonathan, going to Buffy. Well, look, I don't know much, okay? There we go. Some vampires got kicked out of a cave in the hills behind Brookside Park. Universe. Right. You can't just go Librum in Cindere and expect. <laughs> hey, I, I found the mark. It's part of an augmentation spell. Jonathan did an augmentation spell. Hmm. What, um, it's the new force of good. The spell has to create the opposing force of evil. Most of everything, everyone's nightmare. He created the monster. So this so was we're saying an accident. He did a spell just to make us think he was cool. Yes. That is so cool, Giles. Because he was always a loser. It doesn't sound very likely, does it? So if this is the world he created, what's the real world like? I'm scared. Everything's gonna change. Well, actually, the I just remain pretty much the same, except Jonathan won't be Jonathan. Well, exactly. That's what I love about this episode. No, it's no, not dystopian. No. It's pretty World normal, except it's Jonathan. World without joy. <laughs> I love this fluctuating force of normal and alternative. Like every time uh, the creature gets hit, and that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
not just the monster. People didn't like being the little actors in your sock puppet theater. You weren't. Manipulated the lives. You socks? We were friends. Jonathan, you can't keep trying to make everything work out with some big gesture all at once. Things are complicated. Time. They take time and Builds work. up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's no shortcuts in life. I'm glad we talked this all out. We haven't talked at all. Oh. Well, whatever we're doing, we're doing it great. The lips do the talking. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> My Lord, that was nuts. Like, oh my God. I mean, <laughs> I got no words. Best reactor on YouTube, Jonathan. Jonathan's everyone. He's every. <laughs> I loved it. I I mean, I loved um the message coming out of this episode, and that Jonathan didn't really mean to harm. Uh, it wasn't a malicious means. It was just a want. Um, especially with the with like the tragic past of Jonathan as well, like. I kind of uh, felt that if they were going to do this out of a malicious mean, then um, it would it it would kind of be hard. Like I don't know. I feel like it could have it kind of ruined um, the hope that Buffy gave Jonathan in in the bell tower. Um, and this is a more lenient way of 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 like expanding Jonathan's character by still making him like the same character but um doing this thing like creating this alternative reality so and I'm a sucker for alternative realities as well but yeah brilliant stuff my god <laughs> I just gotta love that episode so much. It was just very, very comedical. And it just left you in a barrel of confusion when the intro hit. Like, especially Jonathan being scattered throughout the intro. That was a nice touch. Um, But, um, yeah, it was just, a, like, co a confusing, like, mess for your mind at first. Because you're like, wait, Jonathan, this is the first time we've seen him since, like, last season. Did I miss something? What's going on here? Why is Buffy not taking on a vampire nest when she's easily capable of doing so? Yeah, you were just thinking as your head, like, as the episode went along, should I say, that something's happened to the world. Because Buffy is no longer the confident, puntastic gal that we know and love her for. Jonathan is suddenly in control of the world, essentially. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't make himself president of the United States, but, you know, um, he started the Matrix, that's something, but he took away Keanu Reeves, so, probably, so, and he took away the class protector, well, he, he didn't take away, he just replaced Buffy, Buffy and Jonathan kind of switched positions, so, like, it's so funny because it takes the emotion away, but it doesn't in the sense, like, there would still, like, Buffy would probably say the same words Jonathan said to her. So, yeah. Weird. It was a weird and amazing episode. And I'm a sucker for alternative realities. Um, but I really loved the message uh, in terms of Jonathan's character and that alter uh, alteration spells. Not really the best idea if you're going to try and, uh, like, affect the entire world. Because, like, these things, they take time. Like, these wounds. Everything that Jonathan has suffered, it, it will take time to heal. And, um, a quick, a quick, um, alteration spell is, is really, really, um, damaging. So, 
yeah, it was just good. But it's kind of sad as well because, like, he just he just wanted to have a taste of the life he yearns for. He didn't do it out of malice, um, which I kind of suspected because, like I said, I don't want uh, like I would have worried that it would have taken away from. It, it was still bad, of course, like for him to do so, but he didn't do it out of malicious intent. Uh, he just wanted a taste of the world. He just wanted to move away from the hurt that he was feeling and thought this would be a harmless spell to conduct. But um, it was the wrong way of going about it. And if he, he, if he wants to kind of be integrated into the world, it's just got to take one step at a time. Uh, alteration spells is going to just cause chaos um as willow um kind of experienced earlier the season with something blue where um she conducted this spell that would allow everyone to respond to what she basically asked for like uh, um so yeah but um it was nuts i just really loved it like i just <laughs> I just love Jonathan just being scattered everywhere, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I really, um, I really did love this episode, though. It was, it was a nice focus on Jonathan, and, um, not just that, though, but it was done in a crazy manner as well, and it worked so, so well. Like I said, the introduction piece left you thinking, what's going on? Ah, um, and, um, it was crazy. It was comedical. Like, I think even uh, Spike bef uh, forgot Buffy's um, name, which was pretty, pretty fun stuff as well. And um, what I liked kind of about this episode was the fact that it kind of continues. It kind of continues. Might be stretching this a bit far, but we know that Jonathan has a lot of confidence in this episode and Buffy lacking that. Um, which Jonathan lacked confidence anyways, um, in the original timeline and Buffy was, was full of confidence and, um, was, was difficult to put down in a fight and they had to, uh, and Buffy had to resort to Jonathan to clear out the vampire's nest, whereas Buffy would have, like, uh, OG Buffy would have, like, cleared that nest, like, w blindfolded, basically, um, so it was kind of like they swapped souls in a sense, if you get what I mean. Um, so it's so it's kind of like nice how we have that confidence swap following from the um, two part that we recently got. So yeah, uh, but that's just uh, that's just me. It's just that not just the fact that she did, was not able to to. Um, take out that nest at the beginning um like as buffy normally would when she spoke to spike and and she was uh unconfident with her words there's that uh jonathan for advice as well regarding her and riley yeah it, it was there and it was just kind of mind-blowing so yeah but um also about the fact that um we had a bit of Adam. There's some interesting bits going on here because um, Jonathan might have given the Achilles heel in order to stop Adam because he had that meeting with the initiative. And as we learned at the end of this episode, the memories of the alternative world uh, remains. So if that is the case and Riley was there, would Riley be able to remember what Jonathan um, advised uh, the initiative? Because if so, then mm, that could be very, very juicy. Um, but yeah, Adam wasn't affected because uh, a disturbance in the force. But no, he's memorized every molecule. Uh, can't say it. So that's great. Um, he's memorized everything. So yeah. Um, but um, yeah, um, it was just really, really good. What I really liked about this um, as well, this episode, was whilst it, all, it focused on an alternative reality, it wasn't as um, broken as um, The Wish. We know that Sunny Dale was an absolute mess because of the fact that the Master was able to be free and uh, vampires ran terror across Sunny Dale and 
Um, yeah, it was, and and we know the ramifications with Willow and Xander and everyone turned into a vampire. So this world wasn't as severely affected. If anything, it was normal, just with a bit more Jonathan. Like, that's all we could ask for, a bit more Jonathan in our lives. So, yeah, it was pretty much normal, just um, uh, a bit more Jonathan. So, uh, yeah, I really liked that. And we saw the Scoobies mulling over, okay, so what's the world going to be like? And then Giles confirming, um, uh, like, Giles caught on pretty uh, quick saying, I'm, ass- I'm assuming the world's going to be like what it was before, just Jonathan uh, with a bit less Jonathan. So yeah, um, a lot less Jonathan, but yeah, it was um, it was a really, really good scenario to work with uh, and make it a bit different from The Wish, um, but still carrying similar aspects. Um, that was another thing I really liked, the uh, scene with Buffy and Anya alone. I don't know if we've had that because... Um, She's usually tied with Xander all the time. Um, and um, yeah, I, I don't think we've seen Anya and Buffy alone. So it was nice to have a little bit of a scene with them two together. Uh, but her talking about alternative universes and um, or alternative realities and all that jazz. Uh, world without shrimp and imagine a world without Bob on biscuits. No, I, I, I can't. I can't. Okay, that's it. That's it. That would just be the end of reality, and I don't want to even imagine that hell. That reality could burn, basically, for all I care. No, but in all seriousness, it was nice to have that little bit of scene uh, between um, Anya and Buffy. But, um, yeah, I liked this, and I liked the message that Buffy gave to Jonathan at the end of the episode, where um, she could understand why he did what he did. Um, but it was still wrong. She still gave him a lecture and, and still reminded him that you manipulated lives um, for your own selfish greed, like in a more like in a more telling off sense, I guess. Uh, it, what from what I'm wording it, but um, well, what what I'm wording it is a more telling off sense. But um, that's it though. He kind of manipulated life um because the world suddenly looked to him and mindsets changed unnaturally and buffy gave a good point these things they take time to 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 form uh time like has to be in control of the situation you can't just whip up an alteration spell and affect and 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 assume that things will um, be affected without like anyone going to black, bat an eye and congratulate you and all that um so these things they take time to to form and and how that reverberated onto um riley and buffy's relationship uh was a pretty good point and i liked how jonathan uh encouraged the relationship between the pair um so it was really good stuff i do feel a bit bad for for riley because sleeping with faith was not his fault um like if i'm sure if he had a time machine he would go back and tell riley not to sleep with buffy at that time um he's carrying a lot of guilt it's just buffy is not making heads and tails but thanks to jonathan she's starting to realize he is hurting as much as she is uh it still stings of course like it's still going to sting for buffy i can't blame her because um faith uh, was still in possession of that body so yeah but at the same time, you do feel a bit, you, you do feel a lot for Riley because he had no idea. He wasn't Tara. So, um, yeah, uh, we had a bit of Tara. She, she's, she was embroiled in trouble again. So, um, she has a knack for getting into trouble, Tara. So, yeah, because she had a similar scenario in Hush. Um, and, uh, yeah, you just feel a bit bad for Tara, but yeah, uh, it was, it was great to, uh, see her again, uh, becoming a bit more prominent. So that's awesome stuff. Cause I like Tara. Uh, I'm loving her character already, but, um, it was really, really, uh, good stuff. And, um, yeah, I just like the idea that every, that, that this, um, episode did focus on Jonathan trying to fix his loneliness, um, but as Buffy said, that takes time. It, it's a painful journey, but 
that's it. We've got to work through the agony that we've got to work through the pain if we're able to overcome these obstacles. Um, so yeah, but, um, it was a very, very stunning episode and I'm re really excited to see what the next episode does bring. And yeah, this season I'm approaching the, the end. It's yeah, pretty, um, uh, Pretty surreal that I'm coming close to finishing season four of Buffy. So, yeah. But um, it was a fantastic episode. Really enjoyed it. I think I passed the halfway point in terms of Buffy episodes overall. Like if um, the rest of the seasons have the same amount of episodes. Yeah. Because, like, episode 12 is like... I'm, I'm not sure. I'm doing quick math, so it might not be accurate. But, like, if episode, like... 11 is the halfway point because it's 22 episodes and I'm kind of there. That's grim. Anyways, on a happier note, um, this was a, uh, this was a bizarre fun episode that did a great job at continuing the development of Jonathan, um, by him trying to fix his life through natural means. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a stunning episode, but yeah, this was episode, um, number 17. I think it was 17. I might have said 18 at the beginning, so I'm not sure. But um, it's episode 17 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, season 4. And it was awesome stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!